90, 90 verses that say, Jesus is not God nor the literal Son of God. All four Gospels record Jesus as saying, Blessed are the peacemakers, they will be called sons of God. The word son cannot be accepted literally because in the Bible, God apparently addresses many of his chosen servants as son and sons. The Hebrews believed God is one and had neither wife nor children in any literal sense. Therefore, it is obvious the expression son of God merely meant servant of God, one who, because of faithful service, was close and dear to God as a son is to his father. Christians who came from a Greek or Roman background later misused this term. In their heritage, son of God signified an incarnation of a god or someone born of a physical union between male and female gods. This can be seen in Acts 14 verses 11 to 13, where we read that when Paul and Barnabas preached in a city of Turkey, pagans claimed they were gods incarnate. They called Barnabas the Roman god Zeus, and Paul the Roman god Hermes. Furthermore, the New Testament Greek word translated as son are ps and paida which means servant, or son in the sense of servant. These are translated to son in reference to Jesus and servant in reference to all others in some translations of the Bible. So, consistent with other verses, Jesus was merely saying that he is God's servant. Additional Problems with Trinity To a Christian, God had to take human form to understand temptation and human suffering, but the concept is not based on any clear words of Jesus. In contrast, God does not need to be tempted and suffer in order to be able to understand and forgive man's sins, for he is the all-knowing creator of man. This is expressed in the verse. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people that are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their pains. Exodus 3 verse 7 God forgave sin before Jesus' appearance, and he continues to forgive without any assistance. When a believer sins, he may come before God in sincere repentance to receive forgiveness. Indeed, the offer to humble oneself before God and be saved is made to all humankind. And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior, there is none beside me. Look to me, and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else. Isaiah 45 verses 21 to 22, Jonah 3 verses 5 to 10. Biblically, people can receive forgiveness of sins through sincere repentance sought directly from God. This is true at all times and in all places. There has never been a need for the so called intercessionary role Jesus plays in attaining atonement. The facts speak for themselves. There is no truth to the Christian belief that Jesus died for our sins and salvation is only through Jesus. What about the salvation of people before Jesus? Jesus' death brings either atonement from sin, nor is it in any way a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Christians claim that in the birth of Jesus, there occurred the miracle of the incarnation of God in the form of a human being. To say that God became truly a human being invites a number of questions. Let us ask the following about the man-God Jesus. What happened to his foreskin after his circumcision? Luke 2 verse 21. Did it ascend to heaven, or did it decompose as with any human piece of flesh? During his lifetime what happened to his hair, nails, and blood shed from wounds? Did the cells of his body die as in ordinary human beings? If his body did not function in a truly human way, he could not be truly human as well as truly God. Yet, if his body functioned exactly in a human way, this would nullify any claim to divinity. It would be impossible for any part of God, even if incarnate, to decompose in any way and still be considered God. The everlasting, one God, in whole or in part, does not die, disintegrate, or decompose, for I the Lord do not change. Malachi 3 verse 6 Did Jesus' flesh dwell in safety after his death? Unless Jesus' body never underwent decay during his lifetime he could not be God, but if it did not undergo decay then he was not truly human. Bible says that God is not man. God is not a man. Numbers 23 19. For I am God, and not man. Hosea 11 verse 9. Jesus is called a man many times in the Bible. A man who has told you the truth. John 8 verse 40. Jesus the Nazarene, a man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. Acts 2 verse 22. He will judge the world in righteousness through a man whom he has appointed. Acts 17 verse 31. The man Christ Jesus, Tim. 2 colon 5. The Bible says that God is not a son of man. God is not a man nor a son of man. 
Numbers 23:19. The Bible often calls Jesus a son of man or the son of man. So will the son of man be, Matthew 12 verse 40. For the son of man is going to come, Matthew 16 verse 27. Until they see the son of man coming in his kingdom, Matthew 28. But so that you may know that the son of man has authority, Mark 2 verse 10. Because he is the son of man, John 5 verse 27. In the Hebrew Scriptures, the Son of Man is also used many times speaking of people, Job 25 verse 6, Psalm 80 verse 17, 144 verse 3, Ezekiel 2 verse 1, 2 verse 3, 2 verses 6 to 8. 3 colon 1 dash 3, Since God would not contradict himself by first saying he is not the Son of a man, then becoming a human being who is called the Son of Man, he would not have done so. Remember God is not the author of confusion. Also, human beings, including Jesus, are called son of man specifically to distinguish them from God, who is not a son of man according to the Bible. The Bible says that Jesus denied he is God. Jesus spoke to a man who had called him good, asking him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Luke 18 verse 19 And he said to him, Why are you asking me about what is good? There is only one who is good, but if you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. Matthew 19 verse 17 Jesus did not teach people that he was God. If Jesus had been telling people that he was God, he would have complimented the man. Instead, Jesus rebuked him, denying he was good, that is, Jesus denied he was God. The Bible says that God is greater than Jesus. My Father is greater than I, John 14 verse 28. My Father is greater than all, John 10 verse 29. Jesus cannot be God if God is greater than him. The Christian belief that the Father and Son are equal is in direct contrast to the clear words from Jesus. Jesus never instructed his disciples to worship him. When you pray, say our Father which art in heaven. Luke 11 verse 2. In that day, you shall ask me nothing. Whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name. John 16 verse 23. The hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. John 4 verse 23 If Jesus was God, he would have sought worship for himself. Since he didn't, instead he sought worship for God in the heavens, therefore, he was not God. Jesus worshipped the only true God. That they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 17 verse 3 He continued all night in prayer to God. Luke 6 verse 12. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, Matthew 20 verse 28. How did Jesus pray to God? He fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, Matthew 26 verse 39. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Hebrews 5 verse 7. Who was Jesus praying to when he fell on his face? Was Jesus crying in tears to himself pleading to be saved from death? No man, sane or insane, prays to himself. Surely the answer must be a resounding no. Jesus was praying to the only true God. Jesus was the servant of the one who sent him. Can there be a clearer proof that Jesus was not God? The Quran confirms that Jesus called for the worship of the only true God. It is Allah who is my Lord and your Lord, then worship him. This is a way that is straight. Quran 351 Disciples did not believe Jesus was God. The Acts of the Apostles in the Bible details the activity of the disciples over a period of 30 years after Jesus was raised to heaven. Throughout this period, they never referred to Jesus as God. For instance, Peter stood up with the eleven disciples and addressed the crowd saying, Men of Israel, listen to this, Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. Acts 2 verse 22 For Peter, Jesus was a servant of God, confirmed in Matthew 12 verse 18. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. Acts 3 verse 13 God raised up his servant. Acts 3 verse 26 when faced by opposition from the authorities, Peter said, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, 
Acts 5 verses 29 to 30. The disciples prayed to God just as they were commanded by Jesus in Luke 11 verse 2, and considered Jesus to be God's servant. They raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heaven and the earth and the sea, and everything in them. Acts 4 verse 24. Your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Acts 4 verse 27. Of your holy servant Jesus. Acts 4 verse 30. I am indeed a servant of God. Quran 1930. The Bible says that Jesus was God's servant. Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, in whom my soul is well pleased. Matt 12 18. Since Jesus is God's servant, Jesus cannot be God. The Bible says that Jesus could not do anything by himself. The Son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees his Father doing. John 5 verse 19. I can of mine own self do nothing. John 5 verse 30. The Bible says that Jesus did not consider himself equal with God. And that God performed miracles through Jesus and Jesus was limited in what he could do. But when the crowd saw this, they were awestruck and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. Matt. 9 colon 8. A man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him in your midst. Acts 2 verse 22. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10 verse 38. If Christ was God, the Bible would simply say that Jesus did the miracles himself without making reference to God. The fact that it was God supplying the power for the miracles shows that God is greater than Jesus. Also, Jesus was limited in performing miracles. One time when Jesus tried to heal a blind man, the man was not healed after the first attempt, and Jesus had to try a second time. Mark 8 verses 22 to 26. Once a woman was healed of her incurable bleeding. The woman came up behind him and touched his cloak, and she was immediately healed. But Jesus had no idea who touched him. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? Mark 5 verse 30. He could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. Mark 6 verse 5. Quite obviously, someone with such limitations cannot be God. The power of miracles was not within Jesus. The Bible says that at times of weakness angels strengthen Jesus. God, however, does not need to be strengthened. Human need to be strengthened. God does not because God is all-powerful. If Jesus had to be strengthened, he must not be God. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Luke 22 verse 43. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and began to minister to him. Mark 1.13 And he was in the wilderness forty days being tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels were ministering to him. Mark 1 verse 13 The Bible says that Jesus wanted God's will to be done. Not my will but yours be done. Luke 22 verse 42 I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. John 5 verse 30 for I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. John 6 verse 38. Are some members of the co-equal trinity subservient, and less than equal, to other members? Even though they have different wills, I do not seek my own will. Do they obey without question the other's commands, the will of him who sent me? Jesus admits to subordinating his own distinct will, yet according to the Trinitarian doctrine they should all have the same will. Should one of the triune partners have to forego his own will in favor of the will of another member of the Trinity? Should not they all have the exact same will? The Bible says Jesus regarded himself and God as two. I am one who testifies for myself. My other witness is the Father. John 8 verses 17 to 18, smiley face. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. John 14 verse 1. If Jesus was God, he would have not have regarded God's testimony as separate from his own. The Bible says that Jesus is subordinate to God. Now I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3 When he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him, so that God may be all in all. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 28 The Bible says that Jesus grew in wisdom and learning. But God is all-wise and does not need to learn. Jesus grew in wisdom, but
But God is all wise, great is our Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is infinite. Psalms 147 verse 5. And Jesus increased in wisdom. Luke 2 verse 52. God does not need to learn, but Jesus learned. Although he was a son, he learned obedience. Heb. 5 colon 8. Jesus had limited knowledge, but God's knowledge is infinite. Since Jesus did not know, he was not all-knowing, and therefore, he cannot be the God whose knowledge is all-encompassing. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mark 13 verse 32. Bible says that Jesus was tempted, but God cannot be tempted. Tempted in every way just as we are, Heb. 415. For God cannot be tempted by evil, James 1 verse 13. Since God cannot be tempted, but Jesus was, therefore, Jesus was not God. Bible says that Jesus' teachings were from God, not from himself. So Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. John 7 verse 16. Jesus could not have said this if he were God because the doctrine would have been his. Bible says that Jesus died, but God cannot die. The Bible teaches that Jesus died. God cannot die. Romans 1 verse 23 and other verses say that God is immortal. Immortal means, not subject to death. This term applies only to God. Bible says that Jesus lived because of God. I live because of the Father. John 6 verse 57. Jesus cannot be God because he depended on God for his own existence. Bible says that Jesus' powers were given to him. All power is given unto me. Matt 28 colon 18. God is all-powerful. No one gives God his powers. Otherwise he would not be God because he would be weak. Therefore, Jesus could not be God. Bible says that Jesus was taught and commanded by God. As my Father hath taught me, I speak these things, John 8 verse 28. The Father, who sent me, he gave me a commandment. John 12 verse 49. I have kept my Father's commandments. John 15 verse 10. No one can teach God, otherwise God cannot be all-knowing and would owe his teacher. Since Jesus was taught and commanded by God, Jesus cannot be God himself. The teacher and the student, the commander and the commanded are not one. Bible says that God made Jesus Lord. God has made this Jesus both Lord and Christ. Acts 2 verse 36. Lord is used in many ways in the Bible, and others beside God and Jesus are called Lord. For example. 1. Property owners, Matt, 20 colon 8. 2. Heads of households, Mark 13 verse 35. 3. Slave owners, Matt, 1024. 4. Husbands, 1 Peter 3 verse 6. 5. A son called his father Lord, Matt. 2130. 6. The Roman emperor was called Lord, Acts 25 verse 26. 7. Roman authorities were called Lord, Matt. 27 colon 63. Lord is not the same as God. Lord, the Greek word is kurios, is a masculine title of respect and nobility used many times in the Bible. If Jesus was God, then for the Bible to say he was made Lord would make no sense. Bible says that Jesus was lower than angels. But we do see him who was made for a little while lower than the angels, namely, Jesus. Hebrews 2 verse 9. God, the creator of angels, cannot be lower than his own creation, but Jesus was. Therefore, Jesus was not God. Bible says that Jesus called the Father my God. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matt 27 colon 46 I ascend to my Father and your Father, and my God and your God. John 20 verse 17 The temple of my God, the name of my God, the city of my God comes down out of heaven from my God. Rev. 312 Jesus did not think of himself as God, instead Jesus' God is the same as ours. Bible says that God cannot be seen. But Jesus was seen by others no man has seen God at any time. John 1 verse 18. Bible says twice that Jesus was accused of being God. But he denied it, according to the Bible, on only two instances the Jews opposed Jesus on the basis that he pretended to be God or equal with God. Had Jesus, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, claimed to be God, he is likely to have been opposed on this basis more frequently. Because in these two instances, when charged, in the one case, with making himself God, and in the other, with making himself equal with God, he denied the charges. 
In reply to the charge of being an equal with God, he says immediately. The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do, and directly after I can of mine own self do nothing. John 5 verses 19 and 30 In answer to the charge of making himself God, he appeals to the Jews in substance thus, Your own scriptures call Moses a God, and your magistrates gods. I am surely not inferior to them, yet I did not call myself God, but only the Son of God. John 10 verses 34 to 36 This is unlikely to have been Jesus' actual response. Hastings in the Dictionary of the Bible says, whether Jesus used it of himself is doubtful. Grolier's Encyclopedia, under the heading Jesus Christ, says, It is uncertain whether the Father-Son language, Mark 18 verse 32, Matt. 11 colon 25-27 par, John Passam, goes back to Jesus himself. A University of Richmond professor, Dr. Robert Alley, after considerable research into newly found ancient documents concludes that the biblical passages where Jesus talks about the Son of God are later additions. What the Church said about him? Such a claim of deity for himself would not have been consistent with his entire lifestyle as we can reconstruct. For the first three decades after Jesus' death Christianity continued as a sect within Judaism. The first three decades of the existence of the Church were within the synagogue. That would have been beyond belief if they, the followers, had boldly proclaimed the deity of Jesus. Assuming Jesus did say that he was Son of God. What did it mean? We first need to know the language of his people, the language of the Jews to whom he was speaking. The Bible says God had many sons. First, most people think there are no other verses that contradict or give equal divine sonship to other persons in the Old or New Testament. For Jesus to be called Son of God does not make him a true Son of God, otherwise Adam, Jacob. Ephraim and many more should also be considered as been sons of God as such they should be worshipped to according to such method. Adam, Adam, which was the son of God. Luke 3 verse 38. Jacob is God's son and firstborn, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Exodus 4 verse 22. Solomon, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. 2 Samuel 7 verses 13 to 14. Ephraim, for I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Jeremiah 31 verse 9. Is God's firstborn, common people are called the sons of God, ye are the children of the Lord your God, Deuteronomy 14 verse 1. 